Hi Stephen, share with us the idea or backstory that brought about the launch of the Allianz Global Artificial Intelligence Fund. Well, we first launched, um, thought about launching the AI Fund about four years ago when we saw big breakthroughs of what was happening with deep learning and machine learning. Uh, Google was one of the biggest innovators when they were able to apply machine learning and deep learning on a bunch of YouTube videos. Uh, and it started to identify objects within the video and the data without being told uh, what to look for. And so when you think about some of the big breakthroughs with deep learning and machine learning, it was really around that to be able to understand these patterns, understand the data in a new way without having to tell the programs what to look for. And so it's the framework that's being applied to autonomous driving in terms of being able to see the images, use GPS, use data and radar uh, to navigate the environment in real time. Uh, identify cancer cells and x-rays and so uh, this was the real breakthrough we had saw and as more data and solutions get thrown at the problem utilizing AI and machine learning we're seeing big breakthroughs happen every day. Uh, we initially launched the global AI strategy uh, initially in Japan uh, in September of 2016 with our partners uh, Sumitomo Mitsui. Uh, it was one of the biggest uh, fundraisers of 2016 and, and has seen great success. And we launched the Allianz Global Artificial Intelligence Fund for the rest of Europe and Asia x Japan in March of last year. And so we just crossed our one year mark and we're seeing great interest uh, and we've had good performance. Expanding upon the idea of artificial intelligence or AI, why is it an apt time to invest in AI? Um, you know, AI in its simplest form is a machine or program that can think and learn like a human. Uh, it encompasses a broad set of technologies from deep learning, machine learning, big data. All these technologies are really coming together to allow machines to think, see, hear, learn, and sense the environment. And we think it's a disruptive technology that will really impact every industry, uh, much like the internet and e-commerce does over the next decade. Uh, when you look at a lot of the recent market forecasts and what's going on in the media, AI is becoming much more impactful to everyday life. Uh, more and more examples and use cases are coming out about the adoption of AI and we think it's the biggest, really the most disruptive technology that can create the biggest market opportunity over the next uh, decade. What approach does the investment team take to manage the fund? Um, at Allianz Global Investors, we take a very bottoms-up fundamental sector research perspective to our, to our funds and our research. Um, myself and the team have been managing uh, technology funds for over 10 years and technology analysts for over 20 years. And so we're very experienced in understanding these waves of disruption that can come every five and 10 years. Um, our approach with the AI fund is really to be an all cap product looking at the full market cap spectrum of opportunities and different technologies that are critical to enabling AI. Uh, we generally view the AI opportunity in three areas, um, AI infrastructure, uh, which includes the leading semiconductor hardware and software companies that are really key building blocks to making the AI ecosystem happen. Um, AI applications, which can include both uh, consumer and business oriented applications that are really leveraging AI to add new features, new innovations, and be really much infused with AI. And then longer term, we think every industry can be disrupted with artificial intelligence. And so we're looking outside of technology in every sector like healthcare, finance, advertising, uh, automotive, for companies that are really leveraging the technology um, uh, with AI and machine learning and really changing their business model, uh, driving more efficiencies with their businesses. And so much like you've seen Amazon disrupt retail, Netflix has disrupted the media space, we think you'll find innovative companies outside of technology that are really driving this innovation, utilizing AI to create um, interesting op investable opportunities. What are the key risks of the fund and how are they mitigated? Um, you know, uh, since AI is still at the very early adoption stage, about 75% of the portfolio is still in technology. And so we would face the normal risks that a normal technology fund does. Um, but we also, when we look at AI adoption, uh, the, you know, the two areas of risk we watch are clearly cultural adoption, given that there's so much change going on, as well as government regulation. And so we've been pleasantly surprised that most governments now are embracing that AI is coming. They're setting up policies to not only invest and to monitor AI, but knowing that it's coming and they want to understand the societal impacts and job retraining uh, uh, things needed, and also monitoring some of these new AI initiatives. And so, you know, we're watching if anything slows down AI adoption, it's going to be government regulation or very big cultural pushback. Um, I think as we think about how AI will evolve. Uh, this first wave of AI will be you know, AI supervised or human assisted AI where 
you know, we'll utilize AI, help us make some decisions, but we still have humans kind of overseeing it and determining how the technology is being deployed. And as we get more comfortable with the technology, we think it'll, get, it'll become more seamless in everyday life. And that's, um, you know, that's when probably AI really takes off from that perspective. And so we think it'll go in phases. Um, we think, you know, I think everyone realizes when you look at the big disruption coming in the next decade, that AI is going to be one of the biggest transformative technologies. And so I think everyone understands that it's coming and there's going to be cultural change and government, you know, some government regulation. We're going to have to monitor the technology. But well, we've been pretty pleased that um, a lot of countries now are, are very much open to understanding that it's coming and it's very strategic from, a, from an economic growth perspective.